Hey guys, it's Alicia with Fitful Circle, 43 year old mom of five in the best shape of my life. And I was not always like this. Um, there were 10 years that I was inactive. I had those five babies in a seven year time frame. Like they're boom, 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 boom. My second son was born with a genetic defect and passed away at a year and three and a half months. So like for the five years after that, well that, that year and three and a half months then, and then probably five years after, like seriously, a lot of it is a blur. And then I had three babies back to back to back after him. He was my second. Um, and so then I have my oldest, but it's just craziness. Say, hey, Pepper. <laughs> That's Pepper. Um, but just needless to say, like my life was like a lot of chaos and craziness. Like I'm surprised that my husband and I uh, are still together right like there was a time where I didn't think we would make it but we did we you know it brought us closer together and we worked on it like it took both of us working on it it wasn't just one or the other and like supporting each other in our grief um, so anyway kind of a tangent there but um, the biggest thing for me is nutrition like I started back on this journey after my last child and he's eight years old now and I started studying and researching nutrition first. I didn't bring in the fitness till around 38, um, like halfway through my 38th year of life. So it's been about four and a half years, I think. Four and a half years, yeah. So anywho, that's my story and I'm sticking to it and I've got some core work here for you. I will not talk as long, but I help, I'm a virtual online coach, like I, that's what I do. It took me years to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. I have multiple degrees, certifications, like I've done tons of things. Um, but I think I finally found like my fit and what I love. So anywho, I've got a core work here for you. You can use a medicine ball, like a weighted ball, or um, you can use a dumbbell um, or just like a, um, a weighted regular ball. Like you can use anything you have, or you can even do it without anything. So don't let not having the right thing stop you. And depending on your fitness level, like you may not need any uh, weight whatsoever, okay? So, all right, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. We've got seven exercises. We're gonna do a set amount of reps each and then um, repeat that. All right, guys? All right guys, so here we are. We're gonna do what's called overhead abs first. I'll show you the move. You're gonna take your weight, whether it be a dumbbell or you can do it without weights like I said, um, and you're gonna lay back and then come up and touch the feet, all right? So we're gonna do that 10 times and then we'll do that again. Next time we're gonna, um, well, I think it's the third. Anyway, we're gonna come back to that, but a little bit differently. All right, guys, let's go. Y'all ready? So that's one. Two, I keep scooting. Three. It's a little more challenging with a ball because it's an odd shape. Four. And I gotta scoot up because I keep inching. Five. Six. Seven. This one is a C sit. So, and I'm gonna lift my feet up. I'm gonna set the ball down on one side. I'm gonna tap the other. I got this from one of the programs I've done. It's a really good move. So, then I'll lift it and take it over to the next side. Tap here. Okay. So, we're doing 10 of those. I gotta fly, fly around me. All right. So, here you go. Like 
That's one. Two. Three. I'm gonna scoot a little over because I'm a little tight here. Oh wait. Tap it. Four. You can put the feet down, of course. Eight. Nine. Ten. Whoo, that one was tough. All right, so we're gonna bring the ball over here. We're gonna get in a sidearm play. You could do this without the ball. Just put your hand you know, get in the side plank. So the weight is gonna be on this top and we're gonna crunch. All right, like that, okay? So you could, yeah, no. You can definitely be down here and crunch, right? Or on your forearm as well. Here we go, we're gonna do 10 on each side. One, nice, slow, and controlled. Five, six, eight. A lot of times we work the outer, so it's kind of good to work the underneath. All right, other side. We're gonna do ten reps again. All right, make sure you're set up properly. One, two, really hitting that oblique. Three, four. If you're on a medicine ball, it's a little more challenging. Hold on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I feel that on the obliques big time. All right, so. Now we're going back to those overhead abs, but a little bit, we're gonna hit side to side. And I'm actually going to use my dumbbell for this because I think it's gonna be the, the size and shape of the ball. It's a little more challenging. I've already done my, my regularly scheduled program earlier. All right, so we're gonna come back and then we're gonna bring it side. And then, center and then we'll hit the side okay that's one two each time we hit the side three Four. Five. Oh. Six. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's eight. <laughs> Nine. Boom. Ten. Ooh, so we're getting a little shoulder work in there too. We're gonna get 
back onto or in our plank. We're going to put our toes on the wall. And we're going to tap one at a time. Okay. So you can just do this without the ball as well. Now we're going to have our hands on the ball and we're going to tap, bring the knee as close as we can to the elbow and tap. Are you ready for this? And then we get to start over. Woo! I know, party party, right? One, two. back. Whoo, y'all. Abs are on fire. Nine. Ten. I can feel that. All right. Back to the beginning. It's all about the mental, like what you're telling yourself. Can you do this? Yes, you can, right? Even if it burns, even if it hurts, like keep going. All right, so back to those overhead abs, just straight back and straight forward. One, two, three, Four. I'm losing my grip. Five. I gotta scoot up. Six. Here's that C-sit twist where we lift it over and we tap. All right, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, six, Underneath the leg. Whew. Gotta get a good position on this ball so I'm not like wobbling around, especially because you want to protect your shoulder as well. And this is a weak shoulder. This shoulder is weaker for me. I don't know why I broke my arm in third grade. I don't know if that has anything, but anyway, I'm not sure. Two, three, five, eight, nine, 
other side. good one all right oh here we're gonna do the overhead overhead abs again but with the uh, side to side so I'm grabbing this breathe right four five and we're getting towards the end we're halfway over halfway through this round six toe taps on the ball and then the knee to elbow so we're on the downhill slide I wouldn't make it there. All right. Last set. Knee to elbow. And come as far up as you can. One, two. Let's reverse it. So we're not always starting with the same. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy smokes, that was tough. My abs were on fire. I hope yours were too. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's kind of fun playing around with a medicine ball. Not something I use super often, like not a lot at all. And it used to feel so, so heavy when I first got it like a couple years ago. Now, not so much. Not too, too, too bad. But it's still, my, this work, not only your abs, but your shoulders, your back, your lats, all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, please share this with friends. Um, let me know how you do. Connect with me on Facebook, on Instagram, and all those other platforms. I would love to hear from you. 
All right, guys, peace out. Love and hugs. If, as always, if you need help, please uh, send me a message. Fitfullcircle at gmail.com. That's F I T F U L L C I R C L E at gmail.com. All right, guys, peace out. Love and hugs. Have an awesome, awesome day.